Hello welcome back to Black Rock Movie Channel. Kingdom of Heaven is a 2005 epic historical drama film, directed and produced by Ridley Scott and written by William Monaghan. It stars Orlando Bloom, Eva Green, Gusson Massoud, Jeremy Irons, David Thewlis, Brendan Gleeson, Edward Norton, Martin Chokas, Liam Neeson, Michael Sheen, Deliver Topic, and Alexander Siddig. The story is set immediately following the Second Crusade. A French village blacksmith goes to the aid of the Kingdom of Jerusalem in its defense against the Ayyubid Muslim Sultan, Saladin, who is fighting to reclaim the city from the Christians. The screenplay is a heavily fictionalized portrayal of the life of Balian of Ibelin, c. 1143-93. Filming took place in Warzazate, Morocco, where Scott had previously filmed Gladiator, 2000, and Black Hawk Down, 2001, and in Spain, at the Lorry Castle, Huesca, Segovia, Avila, Palma del Rio, and Seville's Casa de Palados and Alcazar. The film was released on May 6, 2005, by 20th Century Fox and received mixed reviews upon theatrical release. It grossed $218 million worldwide. On December 23, 2005, Scott released a director's cut, which received critical acclaim, with many reviewers calling it the definitive version of the film. Critical Response Upon its release, it was met with a mixed reception, with many critics being divided on the film. Critics such as Roger Ebert found the film's message to be deeper than that of Scott's Gladiator. The cast was widely praised. Jack Moore described Edward Norton's performance as the Leper King Baldwin as phenomenal, and so far removed from anything that he has ever done that we see the true complexities of his talent. The Syrian actor Ghassan Massoud was praised for his portrayal of Saladin, described in the New York Times as cool as a tall glass of water, also commended were Eva Green, who plays Princess Sibylla with a measure of cool that defies her surroundings, and Jeremy Irons. Lead actor Bloom's performance generally elicited a lukewarm reception from American critics, with the Boston Globe stating Bloom was not actively bad as Bailey in a Bible in, but nevertheless seems like a man holding the fort for a genuine star who never arrives. Other critics conceded that Balian was more of a brave and principled thinker warrior than a strong commander, and that he used brains rather than brawn to gain advantage in battle. Cyprus. Bloom had gained 20 pounds for the part, and the extended director's cut, detailed below, of Kingdom of Heaven reveals even more complex facets of Bloom's role, involving connections with unknown relatives. Despite the criticism, Bloom won two awards for his performance. Online, general criticism has been also divided. Review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes gives the film a score of 39% based on reviews from 191 critics, with an average rating of 5.60-10. The site's critical consensus reads, although it's an objective and handsomely presented take on the Crusades, Kingdom of Heaven lacks depth. Review aggregator Metacritic gives the film a 63 out of 100 rating based on 40 reviews, indicating generally favorable reviews according to the website's weighted average system. In the time since the film's release, scholars have offered analysis and criticisms through a lens situating Kingdom of Heaven within the context of contemporary international events and religious conflict, including broad post 9-11 politics, neocolonialism, orientalism, the Western perspective of the film, and the detrimental handling of differences between Christianity and Islam. Academic criticism has focused on the supposed peaceful relationship between Christians and Muslims in Jerusalem and other cities depicted. Historians of the Crusades such as Jonathan Riley Smith, quoted by the Daily Telegraph, described the film as dangerous to Arab relations calling the film Osama bin Laden's version of history, which would fuel the Islamic fundamentalists. Riley Smith further commented against the historical accuracy, stating that the fanaticism of most of the Christians in the film and their hatred of Islam is what the Islamists want to believe. At a time of interfaith tension, nonsense like this will only reinforce existing myths, 
arguing that the film relied on the romanticized view of the Crusades propagated by Sir Walter Scott in his book The Talisman, published in 1825 and now discredited by academics, which depicts the Muslims as sophisticated and civilized, and the Crusaders are all brutes and barbarians. It has nothing to do with reality. Paul Halsall defended Ridley Scott, claiming that historians can't criticize filmmakers for having to make the decisions they have to make. Scott is not writing a history textbook. Why Jesus changed water to wine? Speak in the texts that I read, and quite honestly there are very few of them that if I met in the flesh I feel that I would be very fond of. John Harlow of the Times wrote that Christianity is portrayed in an unfavorable light and the value of Christian belief is diminished, especially in the portrayal of Patriarch Heraclius of Jerusalem, 